I'm Dr. Bobby Redwood, emergency physician and subject matter expert on opioid stewardship and medication safety for the Superior Health Quality Alliance. Understanding the risks and benefits of opioid pain medication is a CDC best practice and a step that can sometimes be overlooked when a patient or family member is suffering from acute or chronic pain. Opioids are highly addictive and the risk of developing opioid use disorder might not seem that high if an elderly patient or long-term care facility resident is taking these medications for legitimate acute pain, like a hip replacement or a fractured bone. In my experience, however, as an emergency physician, opioid use disorder is actually quite common in the elderly and universally difficult to treat. Elderly patients suffering from opioid use disorder present to the emergency department in a tragic state of suffering, where a patient develops cravings and withdrawal symptoms if the opioid medication is no longer in their system. The cravings of opioid use disorder can become so intense that the patient will seem like a transformed person, spending all of their time and mental energy seeking ways to obtain opioids. Even worse, the withdrawal symptoms of opioid use disorder have been likened to a state of torture, including full body severe pain, extreme nausea and vomiting, skin crawling sensations, and an inability to sleep. Moreover, I find that opioid use disorder is really a family disease, where the adult children and loved ones of the affected patient sometimes feel frustration, anger, or resentment towards the patient because of the hurtful behaviors that go along with opioid use disorder. Bottom line, if you started opioid pain medications at a low dose for a short-term problem and now find that you are on an increased dose or taking them long-term, you are at high risk for opioid use disorder and should consider minimizing or eliminating opioid pain medication from your pain management plan.